Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pretty Hands on John Readings. This is going to be for my fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries for the upcoming week of November 9th, 2020. So on the 10th, Mercury enters Scorpio. So I feel like a lot of truth could be revealed, a lot of uh, dark secrets people could be exposed for who they really is. Um, on the 11th, right, we have the 11-11 portal, which opens and it's basically about being able to manifest at lightning speed. So taking advantage of that. On the 13th, Mars goes direct in Aries, let's get it. So that means your energy level will increase. Your ability to get stuff done, work ethic, your ability to even move forward with work projects, right? Stuff that you're working on or advancements, uh, promotions at work, things of that nature. Um, that could even be getting stuff done around the house, doing your hair, right? You just haven't felt like doing it. Now that energy is coming back, thank goodness. And on the 15th, we have a new moon in Scorpio, all the Scorpio energy. So I feel like it's like a resurrection of sorts, right? New stuff coming in that's old, though. It's really old. It's just coming in in a new way, in a new manner, right? New and improved, that type of energy. Where it's the same product, same thing, same situation, um, same person, same place, but just in a different form. Right, a more transformed form. If that makes sense. What are the major things for my fire signs for the upcoming week of November 9, 2020, please? Sorry, I really hope you can't hear that. Somebody is cutting their life away. I don't know what metal or something. I wish they would stop. <laughs> Okay, so overall energy, uh-oh, just a second, fire signs. All right, fire signs, we battling the elements, the wind, the sun. <laughs> um, so overall energy is the eight, why not? Interesting for the moon. So, I want to say untying karma. Yep. It's untying, but it's it's starting new karma. So this is starting over. Letting go of things that no longer serve you. Letting go of the old stuff to pick up the new. But as I was saying with all this Scorpio regenerative in energy, I feel like it's something growing back. So I just think of like a lizard, right, that loses tail. And when it loses it, it grows back, right? So you get a new tail. It's a new tail, but it's the same uh, limb. You get what I'm saying? Like It's not like you grow a horn. Or something like that a completely new body part it's something that you've already had a tail it's just a new form that's what i was talking about overall with the energy so for y'all i feel like that's what's happening you letting go of aspects of your past that don't work for you no more fire signs so that you can start new ones right so that you can start creating new situation new karmic situations positive situations that are more beneficial to your soul and more beneficial to you and what you really want China is coming up too for some reason like literally China or Asia and not because of these cards but I'm just seeing that and horses it's also could have something to do with money too right so starting a new job or quitting a job right because with the knot card it's tying and untying okay five signs I'm not mad at this so our signs got the same card in the same place we are walking out of the energy of isolation, of feeling down, desolate, out, right? Now the election over, a lot of people could feel like, you know, a load off on that. Feeling like things weren't working out, feeling stagnant, feeling like shut out, right? Not just isolated, but shut out from the greater society. And maybe you was doing this yourself, right? Because you just couldn't deal with everything that was going on. Um, but I ain't got to spend too much time on this car because of the location. So that's cool, coming out of that four bamboo carp so moving towards towards the beginning the beginning of the week you could be feeling like okay i came out of this and now i'm here that's a step forward right it's like they say um getting angry angry is a good emotion coming from like depression or apathy right it's a, it steps along the ladder of getting to joy you can't go from being depressed to being ecstatic right it's steps so it's the same with this from the north coming out of this energy where you kind of felt hopeless or you felt down or just kind of sad and depressed maybe to like okay now what's coming right i don't feel isolated i don't feel down but waiting for the next step the next thing to come and as soon as i said that an airplane flew by right so waiting for your ship to come in waiting for your plane to come in waiting for things to take off to start moving but they tell you just to be patient a little while longer because with the car his the bad stuff did happen this happened definitely but it's over now right now he's looking forward to the future 
it may not feel like it again because he's in that interim period between having his manifesting uh, his um putting the intent for his manifestations and then actually seeing them right he ain't seeing what he want yet but it's coming but he's just exhausted with everything he's dealt with already kind of like battered mentally and emotionally but here's the good news too four is a very stable number so he's he went through that stuff so that he could build his stability and right he has to let go of things he ain't even got no hair no shoes nothing he has to surrender himself there's an element of vulnerability here i wouldn't be surprised if i don't see the lotus and then look what comes in that big old big old fish but make sure that you are keeping your eyes on the changes that are coming right it's like watching the leaves turn color to know that things are changing that you know you want to get to a certain season look out for the small clues and that's what they saying this this carp this fish is a clue for him but he just got to pay attention to the fact that things are getting better they are changing nine bamboo willow so healing could have an issue with healing could have an issue with again letting go of things these endings because again we can't get to the new beginnings without the endings right we got to get through them right not to them i love that but this just this healing some of you could be entering like the nursing profession or becoming healers or something like that um resilience uh, i knew it because you went through this so this getting back up look as soon as i said that my barrier hold up y'all yeah, my barrier keep falling. Um, what was I? Yeah, but just resilience. Oh my gosh, as soon as I said that, it falls at the exact time. Hold up. See what I'm saying? The universe got jokes. I keep saying resilience, and I keep having to be resilient at this reading because my barrier keep falling to block the sun and the wind. We gon' make it. So that could be a message for y'all, fire signs. Like, just keep getting back up right they take it don't take life too seriously right keep getting it back up know that every time you get back up you are healing that's the message bam this is scorpio energy and the scorpio takes you to the through the darkness so that you can come out through the light transformed even better right scorpio ain't about just suffering just for the hell of it it's about transforming becoming better and better and better it's like i just found out the other day that butterflies molt like four times right so we think oh they go into their cocoon and they you know break down which is already painful and then voila i'm a beautiful butterfly no as they are caterpillars they just keep shedding their skin keep shedding their skin as they get bigger and bigger and eat more leaves before the final time the big time and the most painful time i imagine is when they go in the cocoon and their body literally breaks down and they um are formed into a, a butterfly see what i'm saying so it's like not taking things too seriously getting back up that element of resilience through healing not giving up again so if you are a person who has been sick or something too you may, may have to relearn some skills or go through some things like that they saying just keep trying it's like putting it's like somebody having to relearn how to walk keep putting that foot one foot in front of the other keep going don't give up keep fighting it is what they saying the last card is blank that is very peculiar very peculiar so i just feel like overall toward the end of the week it's up to you the universe is saying whenever this blank card come and for that to come at the, the last card they saying it's up to you this can go however you want it to go remember i told you the knot card is about tying and untying you coming out of this negative energy right it may not feel like you where you are where you want to be but you are coming out of that they want you to know that you are healing they do want you to be resilient how this week ends is completely up to you in your mind frame in your mindset incorporate everything that i've told you and you have nothing to worry about but don't stay stuck in this energy that's not what they want i that took forever because my thing kept falling but we got through it and now they want to keep cutting away their life i hope y'all can't hear that oh fire signs treasure this reading man y'all readings be work i kinship so goddess advice for fire signs this week is kinship that's gaia ain't that pretty with our belly in the earth gaia our mother earth blesses you with the gifts of life itself nurturance sustenance abundance and fertility as mother of all she teaches to honor and revere your interrelatedness to all creatures on earth and your kinship with all life allow mama gaia's love to feed you and to free you giving birth to your totality your individuality and your connection to all right so this sense of feeling connected to everything you took through your individuality all right, fire signs. Feeling very Leo-ish. They coming out today, yes. 
That's because Mars is going to be direct. <laughs> Work is easier to do. All right. So, Leo, hmm. You could be having some issues. You just came out of an issue with your identity, with trying to figure out who you are, right? We all are in Scorpio energy. We all are re being essentially reborn. But you may have just come out of some issues. And it's saying that you're doing good. Like, you know who you are. The path that you're going along is who you are right it's in direct alignment with the person that you're supposed to be um again you could not feel that way it's like an energy of it's like still a disconnect between how you feel and what you think right like that sense of confidence your confidence could have been better so it's like you're saying like like for example if you um buy a new house or something and you like I like it yeah I think I like it but then there's something you like this is me right I, I know I like everything about it on paper but then in reality you're like but why can't I be happy about it right why can't I that's what they're saying like with your identity you like I know I like the person I, I'm becoming but why ain't I happier you know I, I just figured I would have been happier about it they saying don't worry about it that's just the residual energy from the past that you and everything that you had to go through to get there that's still lingering right don't worry about it don't worry about it stay grounded right remain in your truth you know who you are you love being the center of attention and use that to your advantage leo we need that light we need that childlike energy this week right that's what it's all about you also got bam throat chakra right talking about expressing yourself expressing your identity your identity your individuality your views even when they may be unpopular to be completely honest Right, even when people may not like it, it's I don't know po po political or otherwise. It's looking like something to do with work, though, right? Where you, yep, you have transformed, and there are people around you who don't like it. They wanted you to stay the same, but you can't. You didn't. You accepted your call to be a butterfly from a caterpillar, and now it's time for you to speak that out into the world and to wear that and own that and know that it's going to be people, particularly older people, some people who. May, may be toxic or may just be in your general environment just hovering being nosy who ain't gonna like it and who ain't gonna try to have something to say but psh, this is who you are now and this is this is who you must be leo accept it the sooner you do that the better you feel all right let's see sagittarius i love how they coming out this week so easily everything hmm. so Sagittarius you could be feeling more connected than ever <laughs> maybe even too connected uh, to people right just to your environment just in general hmm so there's some cycles that keep going keep happening and it could be around your money or your love situation it's like a wheel both of those are intertwined I'm getting your money and your love life is intertwined right now whether you want it to be or not um, hmm, because there's an element of, of safety and stability, right? If you don't feel safe financially, right, then you're not going to have the right energy to to date, right? To pursue people, right? That that overflows, right? Your money, right? You can't you can't move how you want to. So they saying once you get one in alignment, the other one will flow. And I feel like you got this message last week too, Sagittarius. There's also an element of protection so they're telling you there's some cycles that you keep putting yourself on to be honest the universe is helping you get off of those they also are protecting you too right they're helping to protect you from repeating the same uh, mistakes over and over again that you haven't learned from they also are telling you to be more open to protecting yourself right protecting your money protecting your heart aha there you go from people who may not have your best interest in mind Right, but the universe is saying they got you. They doing the work too. They just want you to be aware of that and aware of the fact that you probably need to start helping them out a little bit. <laughs> All right. Last but not least, Aries. I feel like something else needs to come out. Oh, I didn't see that one. Aries. Yeah, could have been. Could have had some, some feeling, some some doubt some uncertainty but you didn't tell nobody Aries you're kind of off doing your own thing and people was like oh where you been and you're like oh I've been good and it's really like nope I've been crying <laughs> that's why you're even seeing me but it's all good 
yep doubting yourself wondering what is going on but look all these new beginnings are coming so that was for a reason look at this that just in general all of that was for a reason to illuminate that the white one the light is illuminated amongst the darkness amongst the self-doubt um, amongst the worry amongst the stress so that's what that's what the universe is telling you You're moving out of that energy Aries. you ain't got to worry about that look big protection major protection if sagittarius had protection you got big protection coming to protect your light aha they tell you to protect your light and they are helping to protect your light shine it through the darkness but make sure you're protecting it from unscrupulous sources and energies and people who may not have the best interest in mind who may be coming to take your light who may be coming to bite off your light right coming to try to steal a little of your shine for themselves. an ex could be coming back are you exing somebody out this is also about um physical protection as well right allowing things to you could take that as it resonates but this is also about mending things too right that's an ex coming back mending things um so that you can move forward into this new beginning i said many things from your past that came up but it's mostly about reconciling making peace with your past so that you can move into this new beginning and of course i cannot overlook this little green g g's baby g's could be money coming green is also the color of the heart chakra so again you could have like a reconciliation with somebody whose name begins with a g or who has a g in their name too or you could be um getting rid of somebody or an organization that starts with a g right kind of letting it go so that you can get to your light take it as it resonates all right y'all Thank you for listening. Have a great week. Peace out.